Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every uh, 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. Make sure you subscribe. And also, if you want to get in contact with me personally, then there's a few ways you can do that. If you visit the description below this video, there's a number of ways you can get in contact with me to discuss and talk about your business. We can either jump on a free 15 to 20 minute Zoom call where I'll ask you a couple of questions, see where you're at with your business, see where you want to get to, and I can show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale. Now, if you don't want to do that, then the, you can also send me an email or a WhatsApp message. Okay, so just visit the description below this video, and there's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me there. Now, today I want to share with you a very quick and very brief guide on how to promote your future upcoming soccer camps and clinics. Now, the summer is almost finished for a lot of coaches out there. And for some coaches, it's been a massive success running a lot of uh, camps, clinics, training sessions. OK, this is the time of the year where a lot of coaches do build their business. Uh, their business does evolve, it does get bigger, and they generate a lot of revenue because of the summer, right? Summer allows a lot of coaches to work with different players because most teams do not train throughout the summer, which means there's a lot of free time that players have. And it's a great opportunity for coaches to get in front of new kids, players, parents, and to train a new, cl new clients and work with them. So I want to share with you a little guide on how to promote your upcoming future soccer camp or clinic, right? So if you're a coach that has been running uh, summer camps or you've been running clinics throughout the summer and you're thinking to yourself, right, all my players have gone back to school now. But because my camps have been such a great success, I want to now... Take that model and use it throughout the year. Okay, so I want to run yearly camps. I want to run monthly clinics uh, throughout the year because I that model really worked for me. I want to continue to do that. So I'm going to share with you five very simple things that you can do, right, to promote and run your your upcoming camps okay so if you're a coach starting from scratch this video is going to be for you if you're a coach that already runs camps or clinics you can take some of what i'm about to share with you today and you can pretty much run with it as well okay so the first one if you look at my screen i put run a free clinic to players okay so free clinic or camp to local players Okay, so if you're a coach that wants to build a camp or, or a clinics type of model within your business, right, the best way to do this is to start off by offering something for free. Okay, Now, when I remember when I started my business, I was running a lot of sessions for free. A lot of it was, was small group sessions. A lot of it was one-to-one -one sessions. But what I needed to do is I needed to get in front of parents and players and show them what I'm about. Okay, show them what my training is like, how I can help players, that I'm experienced, that I'm capable of working with, with players. So what I would recommend you do, run a free clinic to local players. Okay, so you might be able to go to your local park, okay, maybe start speaking with parents and players that are out there, okay, and just start to promote this free upcoming clinic right you can also reach out to clubs to look to to run a free clinic for some of their teams i know a lot of coaches that have been very successful in doing that okay but what you want to do is you want to have at least a group of 12 players that you can run this free clinic to right it could be a free clinic or camp typically what i encourage coaches to do is run a free one hour clinic where you're working on something specific. So it might be passing, dribbling, tackling. Um, if you want to work with goalkeepers, okay, something specific to the game where other clubs or other trainers aren't offering, right? So 
try and put together a group of 10 to 12 players and run this free clinic for them, right? Now, the second point is showcase the free clinic success of the event, okay? Now, if no one knows you, no one's going to buy from you. So you need to promote, promote, promote your free clinic. So even if you have 10 to 12 players at this clinic, you want to make sure that you grab a lot of content. You have videos where you're demonstrating your, your coaching to, to the kids. You're making sure that you're, you're showing the audience whether you're going to be promoting it on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. You know, however you're going to be promoting this, you have to showcase that this event is happening okay, and the success of it. Right, so a good, good one would be getting a someone to come and record the event, showing what you're working on players. So if they're, you're working on shooting, showing the different types of shooting that you're you're working with players, the success the players are having with your with your session, okay, and just make sure that you make it look a success, so that any parent watching or that suddenly shows interest in the event looks at it and says, wow, this is this is fantastic, okay? Now, also, after the event, something that would be really good to do would be to interview some of the participants you had and have them make a, a very short 15 to 30 second video talking about how much they enjoyed the clinic and what they learned, okay? This is very powerful because it shows the audience, right, there was structure to the clinic. These kids really enjoyed it. And also there was some, some type of education and learning behind what they were doing, okay? So that would be how you showcase the free clinic event, okay, to your audience, right? Make sure it looks a success. Make sure you're interviewing some of the participants so that they're showing the audience that they had fun, they enjoyed it, they got better, they learned something, and they want to come back to your, your next clinic, right? The third one is sh uh, show your audience your coaching ability, right? This is very similar to the second point, but this is one where you get someone to record you actually coaching and teaching players, right? So what's very popular at the moment is coaches getting mic'd up, right? So having a mic while they're coaching and then getting that that piece of footage and then sharing it on social media right this is important because your audience want to know that you know what you're doing right that you know that you you are able to coach they want to know that you're able to work with players they know that you know what you're talking about and they want to know that if they bring their child to you that they're going to have a really good experience Okay, so showcasing your coaching ability is fundamental because at the end of the day, this is a coaching business. So if you can't coach, then, you know, your clients aren't going to want to purchase a service. Okay, so you want to demonstrate, you know what you're doing, you know what you're talking about, that you, you've, you know, you're, you're experienced, you're a specialist and that parents are comfortable sending their kids to your to your upcoming events the fourth one is create offers to your new upcoming clinics or camps so once you've ran your first free clinic to 10 to 12 players the next thing you want to do is a day or, or two days after you want to call the parents that attended those that clinic and offer them something right so you might think to yourself right it's August now. I just ran my free clinic to, to local players. Now, next month is September. I want to run a free clinic in September. So you might be thinking, okay, I want to, I need to call these 10 to 12 players that attended this free clinic and offer them something. It could be a discount. It could be, uh, you know, you, you might offer the first two or three. Uh, one subscriptions uh, registrations free to the upcoming paid clinic right but you want to start planning your next clinic which might be in september so you want to get on the phone with mrs jones you want to talk about how great it was meeting her you want to talk about how great it was coaching their kids 
and you want to talk about your upcoming clinic in September. And that what you're doing is you're going to be offering players that attend the free one a 15, 25, 50% discount if they decide they register before a certain day. Okay, so you want to create urgency and you want to create an offer that entices them to want to do that clinic again with you. Okay, chances are if they had a great time, if their child enjoyed it, and if their child got something from it, they will want to do it again with you. Okay, so what I normally do is I, I say to coaches, right, the first clinic, offer a 50% discount. So they get it half price if they sign up before a certain day. And then what we do, once they're registered, we call them up again and we follow up and say to them, thanks for uh, signing up to, to our clinic. We still have some spots available. Do you have any friends or family members that would like to, to, to join us on the upcoming clinic, right? So if there's any friends or family members that want to join us, you can visit our website. They can sign up. And if they sign up by a certain day and they put a code in, they get a friend discount of the upcoming clinic. So the aim of it is you want to try and get a lot of traffic to this first clinic, right? You want to create a wow factor where parents are, are seeing your first paid clinic and they're like, wow, this is amazing. This is great. I want to come back and I want to do this again. Okay. So that's, that is the fourth bit. Now the fifth one is market the launch of the new clinic. Right, so depending on where you're, you're promoting it, if you're promoting it through Instagram, to Facebook, through your website, through LinkedIn, through YouTube, where, however you're promoting it, if you're promoting it at a local uh, sports center, however you're doing, you want to make sure you keep promoting and keep marketing the launch. Right, upcoming clinic, September the 12th. We are excited to, to, to have you or make sure you sign up for this, for this event, right? So you want to keep that date. So, uh, for example, if you're running an, a clinic on September the 12th, you want to make sure that you keep promoting September the 12th, September the 12th. So parents see it and they're like, right, oh, I, I want to be part of this. I want to be part of this clinic. Okay. So if you have any questions about the five things I've shared today, right? I work with coaches every single day on, on this. Um, some coaches have made a lot of money running these camps and clinics. Okay, Some coaches have based their entire business on just camps and clinics. Okay, So get in contact with me, right? Visit the description below this video. You'll be able to... Uh, book a free 15 to 20 minute call okay get in contact with me love to to hear from you and if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content